towers that now dominate the scene. A grand way to mark a jubilee. An engine which could revolutionise the motor car. Listen to the explanation of how it works. Mr William Selwood speaking. The engine, as you see it here, is mounted in a test rig. This is the part that develops the power. The whole of this mass constantly rotates in the same direction. And inside this rotating mass is a group of pistons also ro rotating in the same direction. The power stroke is affected by the piston groups running at a slightly different angle to the main mass of cylinders. We have on this side six pistons, and on this side six pistons, six sparking plugs, repeat, no reciprocation, all rotating in the same direction. There are no cooling problems, no water jackets, water pumps, the engine is its own distributor. It is, in fact, its own flywheel. And some more explanation from the designer, Mr. Cecil Hughes. The <coughs> charge comes through the centre here and is fed in through ports inside the cylinders and, of course, exhausts on the periphery. Now for more demonstration. The prototype, weighing 60 pounds and about the size of a football, has a capacity of one litre. Double the bulk and it's eight litres. The power weight ratio, in fact, is unrivaled. It's not yet developed commercially, so be patient, you motorists.